Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Mahawachodash, Yahweh, which is the one and only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach, I Razaka, from the servants of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much, and this lesson is going to be titled as Don't Forget to Ask the Lord for Mercy. All right. While you're in the truth, don't forget to ask the Lord for mercy because mercy is one of the most important things that we need in the truth. You know, it's always ask the Lord for mercy, man. You know, like the elders say, man, you know, pray without ceasing. All right. You want to pray without ceasing. All right. You want to uh, consistently, um, you know, uh, glorify the Lord and ask the Lord for mercy and thanking the Lord. You know, for many different things, praying to the Lord, you know, spending time with the Lord. All right. Showing yourself worthy to the Lord, man. All right. And mercy is one of the biggest things in the truth that we need. You know, there's a lot of things I'm seeing with, you know, a lot of my family members, you know, some of them is, you know, and got plagues put on them. You know, they're not in the truth, but there's a lot of plagues that's going on amongst, you know, my relatives and stuff, man. And, you know, I look at that and I'm just sitting there just thinking like, man, you know, why do you have a for having mercy on me? You know, so let's get to this lesson. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Psalms chapter 6 and verse 1. It says, O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. And who is this is speaking? This is King David speaking. All right, King David, he was speaking to the Lord and he was asking the Lord, for mercy he was praying to the lord for in a time of trouble for mercy man he was praying to the lord for mercy man ask the lord for mercy all right this is a prayer that he has said you know and this is one thing that we should be doing as well king david asked the lord for mercy all right he asked the lord for mercy verse 2 it says have mercy upon me o lord he's talking to yahweh bashim he's talking to heavenly father yahweh he's asking the lord for mercy man all right it says, have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. It says, have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak, O Lord. Heal me, for my bones are vexed. And when you go into the meaning of that word vexed right there, man, all right, it goes into uh, vexed. It goes into of a problem or issue, a problem or issue that you're going through, all right? Difficult and much debate, problematic. Verse 2, it says, annoyed, frustrated, or worried. So that's what vex mean. You know, frustrated, annoyed, or worried. And these things happen all the time, man, feeling vexed. All right, this this comes upon a lot of us. You know, it, come, it came upon David, man. He was vexed. He was feeling vexed. It says, oh, heal me. It says, oh, Lord, heal me for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed. But thou, oh, Lord, how long? It says, Return, O Lord, deliver my soul, O save me for thy mercy's sake. See, so he asked the Lord for mercy, which we should be doing. Just because you're in the truth, that don't mean the Lord has to automatically give mercy onto you, man. Just because you're in the truth, that don't mean that the Lord is automatically going to have mercy on you. And just because you know you're a Hebrew Israelite, that does not mean the Lord is going to automatically have mercy on you, you know. You want to ask the Lord for mercy. You want to thank the Lord on a daily basis. Thank you for blessing me living on the day, Lord. The water for getting me to my destination safely and back. You're, you're blessing me to make it to where I got to go and back home every day. When you're seeing a lot of these people get all these plagues and curses, you know, it's coming upon Jake. You know, Jake's getting into car accidents. Jake's is, Jake is fucking going to sleep, not getting back up. You know, Jake is fucking having a heart attack, collapsing. The Lord is intensifying his judgment, man. Then I'm going to get back to that, but let's get that precept real quick, right? Because the scriptures say in Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 1, right? This is why you want to ask the Lord for mercy. 
This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right. Because you want to remember your creator. Who is our creator? Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. He's our creator. Right. So while you're in the days of your youth, right, you know, you don't want to be, you know, not remembering your creator. All right. In the days of your youth, right, you want to be remembering your creator, who is Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. All right. Because the Lord is intensifying his judgment. The Lord is intensifying his judgment. We're getting closer and closer to these prophecies being fulfilled, man. You know, there's a lot of things taking place on the earth. You got people dying. You got brothers dying in the truth. You got people dying in the world, right? The Lord is intensifying his judgment. He got Biden trying to, trying to, uh, 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 you know, be against uh, anti-Semitism, what they call it, which we know there's no such thing as anti-Semitism, but, you know, Biden's trying to, you know, uh, stop the truth from getting out. But this is going into feminine of the word, man. So we want to be asking the Lord for mercy, man. We want to be continually praying to the Lord, man. Seeking him out. You know, praying for brothers out there, man. Ask the Lord to have mercy on all of us, man. Brothers out there, man, that's doing this works. You know, doing the will of Yahweh Bashimashai. You know, starting from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. So you want to be asking the Lord for mercy. Psalm 6 and 3. My soul is also sore vexed, right? We went into that word vexed, man. It means annoyed, frustrated, or worried, right? A problem or an issue. Because we go through problems and issues in our daily lives, which is fucking vexing, man. You got to go to work. You know, you're dealing with this shit with your boss, or you're dealing with shit with your Eve, or you're dealing with shit, you know, with bills, or you're dealing just dealing with shit in general, man, because we're under the curses. So we, we, we go through a lot in our daily lives, Right? We always got these problems, man. You know, there's a lot of things always going on, man. This is why the scriptures say, Thou came to serve the Lord, right? It's a rock two and one. Thou came to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Going through temptation is very vexing. It is very fucking vexing, man. You know, it's very vexing. But, hey, we, we know that we got to endure through those, those things because it's the Lord building us up, building our spirit up, man. You know, David went through the same shit, man. David went through the same shit, man. It says, Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. See, so he asked the Lord for mercy, man. David asked the Lord for mercy. We got to be asked the Lord for mercy, too. All right? Because, again, that falls with us, too, man. Just because you know you're a Hebrew Israelite, that doesn't mean that the Lord is automatically going to have mercy on you. Everything is just going to be an easy cake park and a walk. Everything is just going to be great. Everything is just going to be good now because you're in the truth. No. You want to be asked the Lord for mercy. You want to be humble. You want to be diligent, sustaining in the ministry, learning, growing, right? And consistently on a daily basis, man, getting yourself right, man. Looking at the things you're doing, examining. Pray without ceasing like Elder Karatza, Elder, Elder, Elder Karatza and Elder, uh, Elder um, Apostle uh, uh, Raka. Because Elder, Elder Apostle Rakai even said, man, you want to be praying without ceasing. You want to be obsessed with this truth, man. You know? Verse 5, it says, In death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my growings and all the night that I make my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Verse 7, Mine eye is consumed because of grief. It waxes old because of all mine enemies. And we have enemies, man. We have these 17 heathen nations as our enemies. And we also have those Israelites that are unbelievers that have a westernized mindset as, as our enemies, man. Verse 8, it says, Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. For the Lord have heard the voice of my weeping, the crying, man. The Lord hears us, man. He hears how miserable we are. You know, the Lord is going to get us through, though. The Lord is our guidance. He is our protection. But we have to ask him for mercy, and we have to seek him, man. Right? It says, the Lord have heard my supplication, and the supplication, that means favor. It says, the Lord will receive my prayer. So this is why you want to pray without ceasing, as the scriptures say. This is why you want to ask the Lord for mercy. You want to thank the Lord every day for blessing you to live another day, for getting you wherever you got to get to on the earth and back, you know, because anything can happen, man. Anything can happen, you know, but through the mercy of the Lord, he's sustaining us through all of that. Verse 10, it says, let all mine enemies be ashamed and sore vexed and let them return 
and be ashamed suddenly. And this is what is going to happen, man. All right. But meanwhile, man, you want to be asked the Lord for mercy. David was vexed. He asked the Lord for mercy. He asked the Lord to, you know, uh, guide him. You know, this is the things that we got to do as Israelite men. So, hey, man, I just want to do a quick hit on that. I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh, Baha Shemi Hawashai, Baha Shemi Hawa Kakodash, and giving double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. All right, until the next time I say, shalom. Shalom.